this is a horizontal fire pump, horizontal split cage fire pump. And uh, one of the things you look at is the actual drip rates weekly, you know, before, uh, while it's not running and then while it is running. So and this is, you can see there's water in there. Um, and we'll talk about how, why that one's so full cool here shortly. You gotta look at that drip rate uh, and code does not say what it has to be because it actually comes back to manufacturer's requirements um, on the maintenance. So most fire pumps, a good rule of thumb, and the, the NFPA annex says this, uh, but it says it's a, a good rule of thumb is about a one drip per second when the fire pump is not running and a straight, steady stream of water when the fire pump is running. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Make sure you go back to your manufacturer's recommendations and look at it though. Um, the uh, the AO ended up not citing not citing the issue. Luckily, they got it overturned because the annex is not enforceable material. Uh, it's just suggestions and code uh, that give you guidelines on on what what the committee was thinking when they put the information in there. So, go check out your fire pump manufacturer's recommendations. So back to uh, the issue that we have, and we're actually gonna I'm gonna add this to our PM process. You can see that that we're actually overflowing on our fire pump. So what does that really mean? Well, you can see we got a small drain down here. That drain is clearly clogged. We got a corrosive environment uh, where it's constantly wet. So those drains clog uh, relatively easy. So you know when you're doing your when you're doing your monthly monthly this it's an electric fire pump. When you're doing your monthly check on this, make sure that that your drains are unclogged and you're actually uh, the water's getting to the drain. Um, so that way because. What this is going to do is it's going to decrease the life of the, the fire pump because it's dripping all over the, the concrete base that it sits on, which is affecting the, um, the, how the fire pump is actually connected. So that's going to cause additional corrosion and, and potentially uh, decrease the life of that fire pump. So um, just some things to keep in mind. Uh, and you know, thanks for sending in questions. I'm happy to help where I can. Uh, a lot of it is just, you know, research and things, things that I've learned from other people. So everybody just keep sharing your knowledge and keep empowering everybody else. All right. Thanks.